Welcome to Pangaea. Today we're going to take a closer look at the Swiss political system. Switzerland is divided into 26 cantons. Each canton has an independent constitution, government, parliament, court and police and is again divided into several communities. Each community, each canton and the Swiss national government are therefore responsible for certain political fields. For example, the communities are responsible for kindergarten and primary school, the canton for grammar school, and the Confederation of Switzerland for, for example, the ETH Zurich, the University of Technology in Switzerland. In this video, we will mainly focus on the national political system because every canton works slightly different from the others. All four years, the Swiss means a person over 18 with Swiss citizenship vote on the members of the National Council and the members of the Upper Chamber. In the National Council, each canton gets assigned a number of seats in proportion to their residents. For example, the canton of Geneva with approximately 300,000 residents with Swiss passport gets assigned 11 seats, whereas the canton of Schaffhausen with approximately 60,000 residents with Swiss passport gets only assigned 2 seats. In the upper chamber, every canton has two seats, except for the canton of Obwalden, Nidwalden, Appenzell Außerrhoden, Appenzell Innerrhoden, Basel City and Basel District, which are so-called half cantons and therefore only have one seat in the upper chamber. After the election of the two chambers, the members of parliament vote on the federal council, the executive body of the Swiss national government, which is divided into seven departments and therefore has seven seats to cover. Compared to other countries, this is quite special because instead of having one or two governing parties, right now in 2017 there are four governing parties in the Federal Council reaching from the Social Democrats to the right-wing Swiss People's Party. Switzerland has however a president which is a member of the Federal Council but because the president changes every year within the Federal Council and he has no additional power, the president of Switzerland is politically rather unimportant. With Switzerland becoming a federation in 1848, Switzerland was not only one of the first countries with democracy, the Swiss also implemented direct democracy and have stayed till today one of the few countries where people can vote on a regular base on laws and the constitution. On average, Swiss citizens can vote four times a year on certain issues within the community, the canton and the nation. However, we have to differentiate between three different types of votes. The obligatory referendum, the optional referendum and the petition for a referendum. An obligatory referendum has to take place when the two national chambers have agreed to change the constitution. And to put a new article into place, the Swiss citizen have to decide whether they support it or not. An example would be the Pension Plan 2020, which was accepted by the two chambers in January of 2017 and which will be voted on the 24th September of 2017. An optional referendum can take place after the two chambers have passed a new law. To bring the law to a vote, the Swiss have to collect 50,000 signatures within three months and after that an optional referendum can take place. An example is the energy bill which was accepted on the 21st May of 2017 by 58% of voters. The third option is called the petition for a referendum and makes it possible for the Swiss to change the constitution without the parliament. To bring it to a vote, they have to collect 100,000 signatures within 18 months. An example would be the initiative for the unconditional basic income, which was rejected on June 5, 2016. Direct democracy is not always easy, especially because certain petitions for a referendum are incompatible with the existing constitution and have therefore caused big discussions within the country in the past. It is however a further development of democracy 
and the Swiss consider direct democracy very valuable. If you have questions or you want to tell your opinion on the video, leave a comment and peace.